guys, happy Friday. How we doing? Well, all right, it looks like we're building a house today. What kind of house should we build? Should we do every room as a random whatever? Or each room is a different trait. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, so I'm thinking kitchen because it leads out to the deck out here. So we're doing two bedrooms, one bath. So the bedrooms can be over here. I guess they're gonna be smaller bedrooms, but that's okay. The bedroom can be bigger. This will be an office or an art room or whatever. It could be an ensuite and accessible to everyone else. Have like two doors, you know? Living room, kitchen and dining, bedroom office, bathroom. So this house is really like warm and colorful on the outside. So the doors would probably be the same. Should we randomize the trait first and then choose what room we wanna do? Or should we choose the room and then randomize the trait? Choose the room, then the trait. All right, so I guess let's do the kitchen first. I always like building the kitchen first. It's quite fun. All right, well, here we go. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> So the first trait that pops up is the one that we're going to be using, all right? Okay, here we go. How in the hell, loner? Since it's a kitchen, maybe keep it small like they're only cooking for themselves. I like that. Dark and cozy. Ooh, okay. Well, this is going to be a challenge because I'm not, I like my kitchens large and bright. <laughs> I've always really liked this counter. Is this base game? It is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It looks like a really yummy latte in here. Okay, I guess we can like do just, oh, overhead counters on this wall. I hate that. I hate that. I hate it so much. The pink is pissing me off. It's looking cuter, it's looking cozy, that's for sure. Oh my god, is this like a, gonna be a coffee themed kitchen? Maybe a breakfast bar to section the kitchen off? Just throwing a suggestion. I was thinking that too, yeah. It's got funky lace. <laughs> Do I like the lace? I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Oh geez, lace all across? Oh, this one has a little friggin' towel on the end of it, that's cute. So I'm thinking one bar stool. This is making me sad, I'm not even gonna lie, guys. Ooh, the dark green is nice. I wonder, if you size down a microwave, will it work still? One bar stool and then like two in the corner stack so it looks like they came in a pack but aren't used. Oh my gosh, can I stack? Can you stack bar stools? Oh my god. actually really funny. Do they have dish clutter with a single dish? I don't know. Single mugs? Yes, absolutely gonna be using that. Um, brick maybe in here? That's cozy and nice. Hmm. All right, sink time. I'm thinking on the island or next to the stove. I always forget a sink and I always forget a trash can too. I think I like it there. It's already looking cluttered, which is good because y'all know I hate cluttering and uh, the least amount of objects I can use to achieve that would be amazing. All right, I need to find a single mug. You know what would be cute is, it's not really a trait, but neither is lactose intolerant. If they made like a plant lover trait with the, with the plant kit. Oh, there it is, mug solo. This one has dripping coffee, oh my god, that's so funny. Aw, this is turning out really cute. <laughs> okay, and then we just need some hanging lights over the bar, and then um, we need flooring, and maybe a little rug, and that'll be it. Like, if I had to, like, if I saw this and had to pick what trait, I think we nailed it! I think we nailed it! Do you, do you think? Oh. Oh, how have I 
never- I didn't even know this tile existed. It's so cute! <gasps> I love it! On this one, I think we're just gonna do something plain so that the, uh, kitchen and the dining room come together. Seamlessly, I suppose. Let's put a piece of art right there. I like the idea of, of a clock. Or... I like the broom. That's cute. It, like, fills this space, like, so... nicely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! I was thinking about putting a little curtain on the door, but it's not really working out in my favor. All right. Uh, oh, a little rug. Mmm... And then we're done, I swear. I would rather them, instead of making like different designs for the swatches, I would prefer them to just like separate them, you know? And make more swatches for the designs. <laughs> all right, all right, that looks good. Let's move on. Okay, dining room, dining room. Here we go, dining room. Do we want to do the drum roll for every single one? Why not? That's why I have it, anticipation. Lazy? I'm thinking recliners <laughs> as the tables or as the freaking dining chairs. <laughs> oh man, at least with lazy, we can kind of keep the color scheme the same, like keep it going a little. I just know that they don't like exercising and they like to take naps. That's all I remember. God, I hate this so much. It's so uggles. This this chair literally has a freaking blanket over it. There's a beanbag chair. Um, a rocking chair. Uh, rocking that thingy. Um, <laughs> lazy boy from the basement kit. I don't know, what do we think? What gives lazy? I feel like lazy people wouldn't use the dining table because they would eat on the couch. Then what are we gonna put in the dining room? <laughs> All of them together? No way. Oh shoot. Oh my god, this is like making me so uncomfortable. But it, it, at the same time, it, it, it's like it looks really comfortable. We swap these two. I don't know if that's giving lazy or if it's giving slob. Like a comfy rug, maybe? Instead of like a plant in the middle, should we just do like an empty pot? Like they haven't planted anything yet? Or nothing at all on the table? Just pots with no plant. Just kind of like they like had the idea of planting a plant but never got around to it. I hate it so much. <laughs> fireplace kind of sounds lazy to me. Or is that weird having a fireplace right there? Uh, you should make some of the chairs crooked. Like, push that, someone didn't push the chair in. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> this is funny, actually. All right, well, let's move on to... I guess the living room, I guess we'll just go in order. I wish there was a rug that was like kind of scrunched up, you know, like not perfectly flat. Oh gosh, should we do bathroom or living room next? Um, you could also make the rug crooked. Let's see. Gosh, Jor, I hate it so much. Let's make it like slightly crooked because it's really like, it's really messing with me. Okay, sure. Yeah, that works. Okay, I'm gonna randomize the trait and then I'll decide if I wanna do bathroom or living room for it. Oh, uh, okay. Here we go. Oh. Evil. Evil, how fun. I'm actually really stoked. What do we what do we think? Bathroom or living room? I guess we're doing an evil living room. <laughs> it's winning by so much. Oh my gosh. How would I even 
evil lair? How would I even like make a living room look like an evil lair? I feel like dining room would have been so sick for this. Cause we could have made like a like a evil villain like you know, like meeting table. And evil could mean so many things. Super villain or demon vibes or just like all red and black. This is gonna be kind of hard, but I'm excited. Vampire-ish, think evil lair. Um, you can probably use the chair from Space Career. Um, black walls, red lights, paranormal. Oh, paranormal. Reds and blacks for evil. Black All right, I think that the first thing that we need to do is pick a couch. And I think that we should probably like uh, base it on the couch. This one though, kind of gives, because it's like spiked. Oh, wow. I didn't even think of like Maleficent vibes. You know what I mean? Like this. I do like the idea of doing like paranormal candles everywhere. Like kind of making it feel haunted. I think this is a way we can make the living room feel, feel evil without it looking tacky. Oh, this couch comes in a deep purple. Oh! Oh my God, we could totally use this laundry day rug for the dining room. <laughs> See, like, why are these rugs together? They need to be separated. <laughs> I would never know half these swatches existed. It's looking rather spooky in here, I'm not gonna lie. What else we got? Oh, a coffee table. Ooh, the vintage glamour fireplace though. That's kind of dope. Oh jeez, guys, I don't know. Which fireplace do you like better? Vampires or vintage glamour? Yeah, I think you're probably right. The white or the cream is like throwing me off a little bit. I still don't know which couch I want to use. That's why they're all just like sitting there <laughs> with no rhyme or reason. Oh my god, look at this. This is such a cute plant. This is from the book note kit. Holy cannoli, that's so cute. Are you kidding me? Ooh. I'm thinking, yeah. This is kind of cool. I guess we could just put it right there. It's so, like, the, <laughs> the, the these two rooms being next to each other just makes no freaking sense at all, but whatever. I guess that's uh, the whole point of uh, this these challenges. These every room is a random blah, blah, blah. We should totally get the sheep seat. I feel like that makes a ton of sense. Also, if you are if you are new here, I, I usually use CC most of the time, but we uh, decided to not use CC for this build. Ooh, the chairs from the new pack look quite nice. Okay, I think it's looking a little bit better now. What do you guys think? Does it look weird that the couch is like away from the wall like that? Let's see what we got. Oh, there's this photo with a death flower. Ooh, look at the potions. Leaning against the wall like that. Yeah, Realm of Magic is actually giving me spooky things. Scary, evil things. Oh man. Yeah, if we did evil bathroom, because we were trying to decide if we wanted to do evil living room or evil bathroom, this toilet would have been perfect. Her wings match the vibe of the plant. Well, what do you think, guys? Do we like it? Should we put, like, hanging lights in here? Ooh, this one kind of ties in all the turquoise crap in the room. Should we put the urn behind the couch? <laughs> uh, or just have it here? Oh, on a shelf above the couch. That's not a bad idea. This uh, wall's looking a little bare. I would do this, but then when the walls are down, you can still see it and that bothers me. But I guess for this build, it doesn't really matter because we're not gonna be playing in it. <laughs> Our sim is gonna be loner, lazy, evil. Loner, lazy, evil. Oh my god, what a sim that would be. All right, I think I'm good with this living room. I hope that you guys like it. Uh, let's move on to... Let's do the bathroom next. All right, I'm really nervous about this one. I feel like this is probably like the hardest room. So how we've been doing it is we just pick the first trait that pops up. So here we go. Bathroom, oregano. Here we go. Mm, joke's on you. We already 
a dead loner, so should we do the second one? Proper? Neat? I, I, I don't want to say neat, though, because neat is a trait. And then, like, things like this, this is what, like, I feel like proper is, but then it, it kind of looks materialistic, too. Okay, um, so we'll do those floors, we'll change the walls to these panels, maybe? So, in other words, the bathroom is boring. <laughs> Probably, like, no colors or anything, no fun patterns, just, like, straight up bathroom. Uh, boring and very clean. Okay, it should be minimalist, I guess. Okay, all right. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Well, we have enough room for a custom shower. But... I think the shower doors that I usually use are custom content. The shower is so beautiful. They really popped off with this, you guys. They really did. Oh, you know what we could do? We could just do, like, a... A single counter. And then put the toilet next to it, because I don't know where I'm going to put the toilet if we don't do that. Mount Kama Rebbe toilet is my favorite. It always will be. And then I think Seasons is a close second. I've never seen a stone toilet like that before. Oh, we can put those little towels up there too. And then these, I guess we're just not going to use them. Ah! I hate it when I hit that button. Okay. Proper bathroom. Looks good. Um, let me put a little picture up and then call it a day. All right, bedroom trait. Are you ready, kids? Here we go. You guys, I don't want to make a slob's bedroom. The show must go on. The show must continue. Where's that dirty carpet at? Oh! <laughs> ah, I hate it so much. Do you have a mattress on the floor? No, but we have a mattress leaning against the wall. We could totally do a sleeping bag on the floor and have the mattress against the wall. Which makes no sense. Dang it. I just want the mattress. I don't want like the love bed part to show. Imagine like coming over and seeing this person's uh, room and then going into their bathroom and being like, am I dreaming? Am I in like an alternate universe right now? <laughs> okay, so we got a bed, we got a TV. We need curtains, a dresser. It's giving very much crack house vibes. No! No! I don't want crack house vibes. I want slot. <laughs> it's probably the mattress on the floor, if I'm being frank. Maybe we should get a real bed. I don't know. Like, I want it to look like a normal bedroom, but just, like, really dirty. So what if we... Let me just see really quick. Yeah, that's actually perfect. Thank you so much. I like that. Coming out from under the bed. Man, this person needs to get it together. Am I right, guys? Roach bed. Imagine if like, uh, you know how you can do like fireflies? Imagine if you could do like roaches walking around. Um, I want to put a trash can, but I want the trash can to be overflowing with trash already. Doesn't make sense to have a clean and pristine empty trash can in a slob's room. Should we put mosquitoes in here? They'll probably look like flies coming off of the bed. I guess we'll find out. Um, all right. Are we missing anything? Outdoor trash can, yeah. <laughs> you could have the clean trash can, but have trash around it because they're too lazy to put it in there. Oh my God. Oh, jeez. Unfortunately, there's no trash. Oh, this lamp is trashy. All right, let's do that. Okay, I think that is good. It's giving slob, isn't it? <laughs> so with this room, I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet. We're gonna base it all on what trait we roll. Oh, I did it too soon. <laughs> oh! Child 
out of the ocean. That's fun. But what kind of room would we make? A spa, a pool. Oh, a kid's room? Child of the ocean, I mean. An aquarium, oh my goodness. These are all such good ideas. I don't know, what do you guys think? All right, well, let's do kid's room then. I'm gonna move that there. Uh, oh gosh, kid's room, kid's room without CC. Kid's room, kid's room, what will it be? I don't know, I don't know. We could do sand, a whole sandbox room. All right, sandy floors with fish walls. I don't know if I like that. Oh, look at this one, it's little waves. I think the waves is the move, unless we did... Half sand floor, half blue floor for water. Oh, man. Okay, I'm getting boy oh. boys room vibes for sure. Ooh. I've never used this bed before. It's really cute though. Hmm. I like this because the blue curtains kind of like give me the feeling of waves a little. I kinda like this. It's, it looks like a looks like a wave to me, or like moving moving water. <gasps> that one looks like water, doesn't it? What's this? <gasps> Look at this castaway teddy. That's adorable. Oh my god! It actually looks like he's like in the water a little bit on this end table. Oh my god. Um, okay, the last thing that this little child needs is a dresser, which we can do like a wicker, I guess. All right, what do we think? Oh, these stools are kind of wickery. Oh no, the whale got covered. And then we'll change the light color to blue. I should have uh, moved a sim in here to test everything out. I mean... It's not my best work. <laughs> oh man. All right guys, well, I'm satisfied with the house. This was really, really fun. We should totally do it again sometime. There are uh, other traits that I would really like to explore. Like imagine like a, a romantic living room or like, uh, what else we got? hot-headed bathroom. There's so many cool things that we can make and I want to do it all. How much did you like this build challenge on a scale from one to 10? 10, so fun. I love you guys um, and I will see you very, very soon. Treat yourself, love yourself, take care of yourself in no particular order and I will see you very soon. Mm -hmm.